near the agenda of 825. But it's about the uh, state uh, goal that you're putting into law. And first of all, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you made the announcement about your county and the federal fund. And I'm glad to see that you're taking advantage of uh, President Obama's federal tax dollars and putting those to good work in your community. Uh, but my question is really about this, this state goal, because you're stating pretty clearly that it will be the goal of Minnesota that over the next 10 years we're going to reach a, a certain point. And I, my first question would be, what is the estimate of what that will cost over the next 10 years to, to actually accomplish that goal? President Simonson, if you have more than one question, why don't you just ask them all right now in order to the debate and ask them to answer each other. Sure, Mr. Chair. So first question would be, what is the estimate of cost over the next 10 years? The second question will be, you know, what is your estimate of leverage in terms of what public dollars are going to leverage private investments to help build out and reach this state goal? Uh, and I'd like you know, to understand what the definition of public dollars is, whether it be Minnesota's dollars that we invest into this grant program, or whether it will be further uh, federal tax dollars I shall take advantage of. And then the third and final question, Mr. Chair, would be, uh, what is the annual investment that you envision, Representative Baker, for uh, Minnesota's investment in this program in order to reach this goal by 2026? Representative Baker, did you get the three and a half questions there? Yeah. So, Representative Baker. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. I think those are excellent questions. I think we've heard testimony many times. Um, the cost estimates from the Office of Broadband are anywhere from $900 million to $3.2 billion. I think as I uh, have learned and asked the questions to those uh, groups, that would be if, if the world stopped creating new technology today, and we were to put a wire fiber to every home, that's what it would cost if nothing changed. And I think that, as I've learned, uh, being a young little guy that I am, I think that um, that is not reality. So what I'm excited about is that should be the worst case scenario. Um, so that is the estimate today, um, Representative, uh, <coughs> that, that that would be the cost today. Uh, the leverage, um, I think the, the key with our leverage of, of using public dollars, both state and federal dollars, and private dollars, should be um, stretched, as I mentioned earlier, to the best of our ability as policymakers. I think that if we can make sure the federal program runs alongside the state program in an efficient manner, we should see Again, this year alone, if, if my bill passes with everybody's support, uh, $40 million over the next uh, this year and next year, along with $85 million in, in federal, that's over $100 million a year. Um, I think those are good good uses of our of our resources, and I think as we make our policy better and learn how CAF $2 actually get deployed, we will know that in a year or a year and a half better than we do today. I think we are just seeing the CAF funds coming out now, and I think um, we will know a lot more a year from now when the next legislature sits down and talks about maybe refining the policy that I'm trying to come up with today. Um, and your final question, uh, how much, how many dollars do you think is right? Um, I really like this year's plan of uh, $40 million to get a good kickstart uh, along with $85 million in, in CAF dollars, again, we're looking at $100 million in taxpayer money, and I'm hoping that if that's all matched up privately, a minimum of one-to-one, -one, that's going to be $200 million this year, uh, or this next two years, excuse me. Um, but I think it's going to only get better. I hope that uh, a year from now, the Office of Broadband will tell us that, you know, there's new technology that's actually lowering the cost, and I think we can hook it up for $2.5 billion, and then it keeps coming down. Um, I've shared my thoughts with the Office of Broadband, and I think they do a nice job, but I hope that that office will eventually close down, because we've hit our, we've hit our mark. And the border-to-border -border broadband has been accomplished. And so I think that with um, smart dollars and with uh, good use of taxpayer funds, um, that is what um, I think would be a, a prudent number represented. Thank you. Uh, Representative